either because they've lost a job, they've lost a spouse, they've had serious medical problems, can get a fresh start on pretty much every kind of debt uh, by declaring bankruptcy. They can deal with credit card debt, they can deal with mortgages, with payday loans, but student loans are treated differently. There's essentially no discharge, no matter how much trouble you're in or why you're in trouble. Federal student loans have been excluded from bankruptcy since 1998, and in 2005, the banks successfully lobbied Congress to end bankruptcy protection for private student loans as well. Now, the federal government at least offers federal borrowers programs for loan modifications, for default rehabilitation, and for income-based repayment, as we were just talking about that at least give people some chance to get back on their feet. Look, it's nothing like a fresh start in bankruptcy, and the federal government's still making huge profits off these loans, but at least it's something. Banks, by comparison, get the benefits of the bankruptcy exclusion and don't offer much of anything in exchange to help struggling borrowers. So last summer, the federal regulators, including the FDIC, the OCC, and the Federal Reserve, made it crystal clear that private student lenders could offer loan modifications like reduced interest rates to struggling borrowers without any penalty. But according to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, banks still effectively aren't offering that help. So what's the impact of that? Well, just three days ago, CNN published a story that gave an idea. It was a story about a woman who died, leaving her parents to care for three small children and also leaving them with $100,000 in student loan debt that the couple had co-signed. I think I just heard Mr. Hunt say that the private student loans have about a 97% co-signing rate. So the, the grandparents of these little children contacted the private lenders, but they couldn't get much help to manage the huge monthly payments. The couple considered bankruptcy over their daughter's student loan debt only to discover that bankruptcy is not an option to them. So here's my question. If struggling borrowers can't discharge their loans in bankruptcy, and if your banks won't give them loan modifications, Mr. Hunt, what are they supposed to do? So, Senator Warner, thank you very much for the question. We share the same concern you do, is making sure that uh, we do everything we can to make sure that uh, students' debt is paid off in a timely manner. Uh, especially when you have life circumstances that arise, very tragic incidents that happen. I saw that on CNN and also read uh, the extensive report by Senator Reid on Christopher's Law. I do not agree with you when you say there's not many options for people to refinance. Citizens Bank, which has a huge presence in Massachusetts, headquartered in Rhode Island, does offer now refinancing. Now, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's, let's just be careful here when we're talking about refinancing. Sure. We're not talking about performing loans and you like to reach out to your customers and say, have we got a deal for you? We'll lend you some more money. Here's refinance. We're going to change your interest rates. What I'm talking about are loan modifications that reduce the interest rate, that forgive interest, that reduce principal. Do you have any data suggesting that the banks are doing this? Because the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says they're not. Well, I think it's very important, Senator, that uh, when a person does restructure the loan for a lower interest rate, it is loan modification. It is refinancing. So uh, in Massachusetts, there is $126 per month savings for your constituents. And in Rhode Island, it's 149 just by Citizens Bank so, doing a refinancing. So that's Through my question again, Mr. Yes. Hunt. Are you telling me that all banks today in America, or even a majority, do you have some data to suggest how many are offering loan modifications for student borrowers that will reduce interest rate or will reduce principal for them? Do you have some data on that? Uh, I will tell you when it comes to refinancing, the actual amount of the uh, interest rate, it's Discover, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo has been doing I'm sorry. this for 10 years. I, uh, the question was, do you have any data to suggest that the banks are offering the kinds of loan modifications that will help people who are in financial trouble get a chance to get back on their feet. After all, Mr. Hunt, the banks lobby to get non-dischargeability in bankruptcy. The question I started with here is what are people supposed to do? What is this family supposed to do that now has three children to take care of and $100,000 in non-dischargeable student loan debt from a child who died? So, Senator, thank you. Uh, two things. There is now loan forgiveness. 
for a student who passes away. Many of our banks are now formalizing that into their contract. I, I'm I sorry, you're telling me that this is now available from all banks, that there is loan forgiveness, and this couple can take advantage of this loan forgiveness since their daughter died? I hadn't heard this. That is, is this mostly right? right. That is mostly Mo right. I, I don't understand what mostly right means. Is it available or not? Know, there are not all banks. There are many more banks that are giving loan forgiveness uh, uh, what, throughout the what, country. What number is many more? More? More than what? Right now, more Senator, than zero? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, there are more than zero. In fact, I know of about four, at least four that are doing it right now. Four out of 7,000? Well, not all 6,700 banks provide student lending, and we don't represent all 6,700. I will tell you, one large institution since 2011 has forgiven $26.8 million because the student unfortunately passed away. I think you're going to see oh, more wait. of our banks formalize that into their contract when a student does pass away and when it they goes, are going to start forgiving thank you mr those honey and when it goes from four to eight i'm sure you will announce that you've seen a hundred percent increase well keep in mind senator you only have about eight banks that dominate the market so we're making progress a lot of these banks do it by case by case scenario there's nothing worse than the tragic uh, accident that happened uh, throughout yes, the country actually there is something worse and that is when something like this happens and the family is left with $100,000 in debt and three orphans to take care of. That's worse. And I'm hoping so, that bank forgives that loan. Well, I'm hoping that bank will forgive that loan, too. Sure. But so far, what that bank has said is no. The banks have not forgiven those loans. They have not provided adequate relief to this family. And I don't know how many other families are in those circumstances. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, there really is no substitute for bankruptcy protection, but the banks went out and lobbied to make sure that they were going to be exempt from the bankruptcy laws, and now they won't even provide the modest relief that is provided on federal loans for people who end up in terrible financial circumstances. I think this is wrong. Senator